Tell me the duck story. This video was a long time in the making. I think I had this idea back when Jungle Book was coming out, the, the John Favreau Disney film. I had this, you know, thought like the duck needs this. The duck deserves this. I mean, after all this time raising a whole generation, it would be very cathartic, very nostalgic. It would be genuinely exciting for old and new audiences to see the duck in kind of a, a new light. Obviously, you can never beat the original duck. I mean, that's classic. That's part of internet history. But uh, it was time to give him a fresh coat of feathers. To get it right was, was tricky. I mean, it took a long time to put together because shooting the live action plates, Chase holding it down, getting the lemonade stand built, hiring the actor, securing the permits, getting insurance for the, for the you know, get, renting the camera. Grabbing things, you know, picking them up, moving them from one spot to another. All that stuff is pretty easy and, and much simpler than crafting this CGI computer rendered duck and thankfully this team from Germany called Film Peak they reached out to me and were interested in working on the project we ended up making a deal you know we shook hands and uh the rest is history yeah comment below if you have any questions about the production but yeah I'll, I'll let them take it from here this is going to be a behind the scenes look at how we made the duck for the duck song IOL based on the duck from the original duck song the paint animated one from This is like a uh, model sheet. Check out this <laughs> uncanny sketch of mine. This is not supposed to be the final design of the duck. It's more to just create a creative direction for the crew. And then the eyes, the plumage. We will be doing a fur simulation. The plumage just looks and behaves more like fur than actual feathers. This is like a fat map. Pink is supposed to be areas where there's more fat and green is supposed to be an area where there's uh, less fat. So this is where you work. Yes, <laughs> me and my plan. This is on she's modeling and rigging the duck. It's not like magic or anything, you know? It's just a lot of shitty little stuff. <laughs> Animating, everyone can tell you if you ask someone, is like the easiest job in the world because you have a computer that does all the work, right? You're basically just pressing a keyframe here, then you go to somewhere else in the timeline, you move it a bit, and then you press another keyframe, and then you just press the magic animate button. However, the difficult thing is actually the question, how do we get a duck from the street up into this computer? How, how do we do that? I'm looking for the duck, you know how it is, it's really shy. But once I found it, I will call you back and let's get it into our computer then, shall we? So, this is what it actually looks like when Calvin is animating. You can see there's quite a few keyframes in the timeline and the song of the video is loaded in there as well and also we have a very basic lemonade stand for blocking we just sell lemonade okay why not give it a try the duck said goodbye
Okay, so another thing that feels helpful is we send each other clips of animals for animation reference. What's up? I, I exhale. So, I am back with another voiceover. I, in the original footage here, I am talking while chewing gum or something. And it's the most disgusting thing I have ever witnessed. We are simulating the fur with Yeti, an awesome plugin. We can basically have all these groom hairs here, the green ones, and based on these groom hair, the actual fur will be generated. You basically have all the tools of a barbershop. So yeah, all these tools actually allow you to get to the hairstyle you desire. <laughs> this is shot at 13 and right now we are matching shadows from forest and plush duck and right now as you can see as we move the camera the shadow kind of lines up too much in this direction is it yeah a bit i think it has to be a little more wait Ah, uh, yeah, a little, little bit more, but not much. Is it? Is it? This, and this is like it. I think now it's better, because now you can see the light edge on the dark. It has to be a little more like... Just a little bit more. I think it's good. I think it's good. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Out of control. <laughs> he looks like a uh, dog in the wind. Yeah. So I think this is similar. It's way too much, but <laughs> I like it. Guys, we're finally watching a pretty much final composite. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand. Dude, how freaking big is this duck? Wait, where's Forshaw? <laughs> Preview. Where's Forshaw? <laughs> where's for? Where's Bratwurst? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, we speak English. I'm just looking for Schmetterling. <laughs> It's the last day we're working on the duck, officially. It's been a crazy journey. And um, I'm quite happy with uh, what we got. We only got two shots left to render and like the shadow pass. Yeah. But I can't wrap my mind around it. It's insane. Oh! <laughs> 